So today we're going to be unboxing Arctic Cooling Arctic MX3 Thermal Compound. I actually had to restart this one because I made some kind of stupid comment about how you shouldn't eat it. I do maintain that you shouldn't eat it, but let's actually just talk about the specs of this stuff. So this is Arctic Cooling's latest thermal compound. It is an updated version of the MX2, which is an updated version of MX1. And basically what they're saying is this one performs better and it's awesome. Okay, it has eight year durability. So that means you can use your computer for eight years without without reapplying this stuff before it cracks or dries out or anything like that. It has high thermal con conductivity, low thermal resistance. Those are the same thing pretty much uh, for our purposes, by the way. It is electrically non-conductive and non-capacitive. That is way more important. That means that if you don't follow the proper instructions for applying it and you do get it on your motherboard or on something else, then it will not cause those parts to short out. It is non-curing, which means it is working up to its full potential immediately. Unlike some competing thermal compounds, it is non-corrosive and non-bleeding. And I'm not sure how either of those are particularly relevant, but it's all good. Okay, so basically they show a graph on the back from Hardware Lux showing how it performs compared to a bunch of other thermal compounds in the market. So they're saying you can expect up to about 7 degrees better than standard thermal compounds, so that uh, generic white goop. So why don't we, without further ado, get this box opened up here. There we go. Oh, and this is dangerous for the environment, and they have a picture of a dead tree and a dead fish. That, that is the most awesome warning label I have ever seen on any product ever because it is like, yeah, don't put this in the water and don't put it on a plant because it will kill the plant and the fish. Okay, so there is our tube. It looks just like the tube for MX2 and it has, oh, this is cool. I've actually never seen this before. They actually have a little meter where you can see how much is left. That is the smartest thing ever because you always had to just eyeball it based on pushing down the plunger on the syringe. Anyway, you open it up, you apply a bit to your CPU, and then you win. Oh, I accidentally got it out. Okay, thank you for checking out my unboxing of Arctic Cooling MX3.